We had had a terrible ice storm. It was as bad as it gets around here. Went to bed, it was very cold. We're very light sleepers, fortunately. But we awoke and smelled something in the bedroom. Ann and I both sat up in the bed at the same time and looked at each other and I said, do you smell smoke? And I said, yes, I do. And we hopped up and found smoke in the house. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So we were pretty sure there was a fire in the house somewhere, but we couldn't figure out where it was. Decided to call the fire department because we were really getting scared of the smoke that was permeating throughout the house. She opened my closet door and that's where it got started. And we had a fire in the bedroom. And at this point it was really scary because the flames were really going up to the top of the closet. We knew that things were serious. It was scary, it was really scary. Dallas, Texas, when we have an ice storm, the city just closes. The ice made it very difficult. People were pulled off to the side of the road. The people that were on the road were definitely being more cautious than normal. It wasn't an hour or two later that Ben was here, sitting at our dining room table trying to help us solve our problem. So it was very conversational, which was nice to be speaking person to person with somebody instead of just on the phone. I definitely wanted to assure them right away that I was the face of Amika. I am your contact person and I will get you through this situation and we're gonna get through it together. Because he was able to provide us on the spot with a debit card that we could go use at the hotel or use at the restaurant or use at the clothing store. So that was a major relief because we were just sitting there going, what are we going to do and where will we go? To have that immediacy with service was really <laughs> a big plus. My job as an adjuster is to build that relationship with them so they feel comfortable putting their trust in you. They feel comfortable having you lead them back to a normal life. We had as good an experience as anyone could hope to. He was always available to us. I could email him and I'd get a response very quickly. I enjoy helping people. That's the best aspect of my job. The communications that you have with insureds, the relationships that you form, and those relationships that you build, and to have people put their trust in you, is something that brings great job satisfaction. That kind of service you don't find very often these days. He really did bring peace of mind when we had anything but peace of mind. He did a great job, and we still have a relationship with him. I think that relationship will be there for a long, long time. Amika could have very easily nickeled and dimed us to death on our claim. None of that happened. Because of all the stress that was going on, if we'd had to fight with the adjuster to get what we felt like we needed to get, that would have been very difficult. And he just took that all away. Amika came through like a champ. People have been curious about our situation and they would say, who do you have insurance with? And we would say Amika. And they're a really good outfit, and if you don't know about them already, you need to. That's where the rubber meets the road when you have a claim like this, and they treat you so fairly that if you haven't tried Amica, you need to check it out.